Hello everybody, this is Stringer back for round four of Group D, and this is going to be a very exciting round. And to find out why, let's have a look at our fight card. So, up first we are going to see Dino fans taking a crack at D Team. Then we will see Epic Brad going up against Morslet. Briano M Steel looking to make it four out of four. Going up against Winless Gasmania. Uh, well, if you need any motivation to watch this video, just look at our main event of this session. It is the re a rematch of the 2022 finale. It is Diddy Darius going up against Ultimate Dino King, two former champions. Both of these two guys haven't had it all their own way in this group. But enough about that, we got three matches to go through first, so let's go on with match number one. Right, in the red corner for Dino fans, we got the Blitz type Tarbosaurus. Ooh, good field if you're D-team. Paris will get, Super Paris will get terrain advantage. A bit of a mixed bag from this Tarbosaurus so far. We've seen how good it can be, but we've seen it suck as well. Right, in the blue corner for D-team, we've got Super Chomp, await the mode on three. D-team really picking up form in this tournament. They did lose in their, on their debut against Epic Brad, but since then, Wins against Ultimate Dino King and Gazmaniac, but catapulted them to a 2 and 1 situation. And a win here would really put them amongst the pigeons. But we don't expect it to be easy. Right, first things first. Time for some crits. Ooh, that's a tie. Oh, no crit this time from Tarbosaurus. It is Chomp getting the first hit. Right, that's one. Ooh, okay, there's the crit anyway, but up oh, Dino stuff is going to stop it. So even if Dino fans did get the Blitz crit, the Dino stuff would have stopped. Determined to get that crit off. Nope, no critical move this time. Oh, <laughs> of course, oh, no, no, Dino Stuffer on Chomp this time. So both of our guys have been denied crits courtesy of the Dino Stuffer. But more importantly for Chomp, it is awakening time. Oh, and Chomp gets the hit. As a Gatlin Spark, massive hit from D-Team. Just the start, they would have wanted. The plot armor paying off there. <laughs> right, coming in next. For Dino fans, we got Seraphosaurus, the little ratty thing. A once great ally of the D team, but is an enemy to them this time. The betrayal. Right, that's a two. Okay, it's a tie. The Dino fans really needs to get a hit here. Another tie. Okay, there's a hit. And that's all she wrote for Chomp. Dino Slash. Right, coming in next for D-Team, we have got Ace Dino Tector. Now, this Ace Dino Tector has been a big problem. Well, it's caused its opponents big problems in the last two matches. And it did help D-Team get two bonus point victories. And I'm sure they'll be eyeing up another one. And if all else fails, they got Paris waiting in the wings with a terrain advantage. But this, do not underestimate the strength of this little rat. Tight. Oh, hello. Dino fans get another hit on the board. Not much of a hit. But a hit that pretty much levels the contest. Oh, there's a hit. A tappy jar a dive. Boosh. Dino fans getting a bit of momentum here, but the Dino Illusion getting triggered. That'll slow him down. Oh, 
Okay, there goes Dino Illusion. Dun, 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 dun. Another hit from Dino fans. Momentum certainly with Ceratosaurus at the minute. <laughs> of course, there's another Dino Illusion. Now, the only saving grace here is that it is, you know, a tie will be enough to kill it. Ooh, he's getting a much needed hit there for DT. Now, they can fill that bar up, but it's very unlikely they're going to get to the Dino Tech this stage, because, like I said, a tie will be enough to finish Ace off. Okay, that will get rid of the Dino Illusion. But this is a good showing from Dino fans. And that crit will finish the job on Ace. Now things get interesting. Because coming in third, we have got Super Paris. Awaker mode on three, but that's irrelevant at the minute because it does get terrain advantage in. So it's going to get the next hit in the match, which will be a paper hit. A crit, in fact. Um, the Ceratosaurus does have type of advantage over the Paris, though. Oh, wait, no. Yes, it does. It's got a wind move. I think it's got Hurricane Beat, though. So, And the Hurricane Beat has been triggered, actually. Um, this might be lethal. I'm, I don't think it's going to be, but I've been wrong before. Whoosh. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Okay, that's once. Now, a big hit here, because this Ceratosaurus is Crisis type. Oh, it's not going to get the chance, though. Paris is having none of it. The Venom Fang is going to finish off Ceratosaurus and pretty much level the contest. Oh my god, what was that jump? It like did a space jump. Anti gravity Cerato. Hmm, now things could be problematic for Dino fans here because coming in next for them, we've got Tank. Now it's going to have tight disadvantage against Paris, which is going to be a bit of a problem here for Dino fans. Can they find a solution? And they've got the Awaken mode to worry about, so while it is level pecking, I will say I think the odds are in D Team's favour here. Okay, there's a hit, but again. Right, that's twice. Yes, that's twice. <laughs> I just have to remember then. Oh, that's another hit. Now it'll be awakening time. Oh, that's a big earth barrier. That's a massive earth barrier from Dino fans. Now, even if D-Team gets a hit here, that Earth Barrier is going to limit the damage. That could be massive in this match. Oh, it doesn't get the hit anyway. That's even bigger. And now, despite the type disadvantage, you have to feel the odds are in Dino Fans' favour. This has been a very good performance, but Paris is not beaten yet. That gets rid of the Earth Barrier. A nature's blessing coming in here. That could come in handy. Oh, oh, oh. And all of a sudden. Just when I thought it was in Dino Fans' favour. We're level pecking again. Oh, that's a tie. Oh, that's a hit. A recovery. A light recovery. Again, it's an earth hit, so it won't do too much damage, but that recovery could come in handy. And an earth barrier. Another one. Oh, this is so tense. Can D-Team survive? That's a tie. Dino fans on the brink of the victory. And that's the victory. And you have to say, probably over the course of the match, Dino fans get it deserving the victory there against DT. Oh, 
and that could be a crucial victory going forward in the tournament there. And both of our guys will now sit at 2-2. Two and two. Right, on to our next match. Right then, in the red corner for Epic Brad, we have got Alpha Chasmosaurus. Epic Brad, only the solitary win so far in this tournament against DT, looking to go 2-2. Two and two. Now, given the earlier result, a win here would be very... could be crucial for both of these guys. Right, in the blue corner for Moore's Love, we got Gondwana Titan, the little soul pod with the big heart, as they say. And if they can get a win here in Moore's Love, they'd go 3 and 1. Having already played Ultimate Dino King and Diddy Darius, they'll go to 9 points from a win, which will be 1 behind M Steel. I think they would have taken that. You'd bite your hand off for that, to be honest. And the first shot of the match, that's a power drain. Now, this Gone One of Titan does have the type disadvantage against Chasmosaurus, but it's got a big heart, so <laughs> that won't phase the little fella. Well, actually, it doesn't because the Gatling Spark hasn't been triggered. Okay, this banana surprise. Hit from Gondi. Another power drain coming in. Shucky. Good start from Morslet so far. But Epic Brad is getting some banana surprises off. A move removal effect could help him here. Whee! Oh, poison. That's even better. So it's two hits apiece so far, and, Enst and Epic Brad does have the slight lead. And he's going to be extending that lead, a third banana surprise, that's going to be curtains for Gondwana Titan. Didn't even need any lightning moves. Right, coming in next for Morsel, we've got Allosaurus. Now this Allosaurus really has performed in this tournament. Particularly against Diddy Darius in the second round. Will it perform again? Okay, that's a tie. Ties are good for the Allosaurus. It is charge type. Oh, but that's not good for it though. Another hit from the Kaz. We have to say this is a good showing from Epic Brad so far. That's another tie. Okay, there's a hit from Allosaurus, and that hit will finish off Chasmosaurus, and we are level pecking. But the Allosaurus did take a little bit of da well, did take quite a bit of damage actually, down to half health. Right, coming in next for Epic Brad, we have got Spiny Tector. Spiny Tector was one of the main reasons why Epic Brad got its win against D Team in round one. I'm sure they'll be looking for it to perform again in this round against Morslet. Ooh, Allosaurus gets another hit. A tie bomb coming in. Morslet again. Closing the gap here. Oh, the spiny get responding with a shot of his own. Oh, hello, what have we got here? It's a shockwave! Hmm, how complicate things for Morslet there. As Spiny will go for a crit. Will he get the crit? No, he won't. And actually, that tie will be good for Morslet there, because the tie bomb goes off. Hmm, the shockwave backfiring there, I think. And Allosaurus getting another hit. This Allosaurus is really dogged and determined. Getting those hits, getting those ties, getting the tie bombs exploding as well. 
Okay, that's really good for Epic Rad there. Aqua Vortex getting triggered is going to completely nullify Allosaurus' tie strategy. Oh, he gets a hit anyway. So Epic Brad still holds a narrow lead in this match. But coming in third for Morza, we've got Pachycephalosaurus. Um, not much to say about this guy, to be honest. It, it has done his fair share of work, though. And he's going to have to perform again if Morza wants this victory. But it's been a really tight back and forth contest. Now, one thing that Morza does need to be wary of is our Dino Tech to bar getting full. Okay, that's not a problem because the Banana Surprise is going to come in and finish Spiny off. Well, it's going to be secret on secret here because coming in third for Epic Brand, we have got Ferrazinosaurus. Hmm, this will be interesting. Which secret dinosaur is going to prevail in this matchup? Hmm, this could have been a main event in all honesty. Then again, the first match could have been a main event as well. Morza like getting the first shot there. And actually taking the lead, I think, for the first time in this match. Oh, but the fairy answers back with a swipe of his own. And yes, it is counter type, so that did a lot more damage. The attack boost coming in there. Good shot from Epic Brad. Oh, that's a tie. But Pachycephalosaurus is more of a tie specialist than Ferry. Oh, and Morza getting another hit. Can they get this win? Now, both our guys will get losing bonus points in this match. So both of them will come away with at least something. Oh, that's a tie. Is that going to do it? Oh, oh, no. Hang on, hang on. Is this going to... Okay, that's definitely going to be lethal. Surely that, that's lethal. Oh, it's lethal anyway. Agonizing for Morsler. They just slip at the last hurdle. And it's Epic Brad claiming the most epic victory. By the skin of his teeth. That was close. That could have honestly ended in a draw. I wouldn't have been surprised if it did. Such an even contest. But it is Epic Brad just about getting the victory. Now, on the match number three, it is top v bottom. Right then, in the red corner for M Steel, we have got Super Tokusaurus Awake Mode on three. M Steel, the only undefeated combatant in this group, which is a big surprise. <laughs> three and oh so far, looking to make it four out of four. But in the blue corner for Gazmaniac, we've got Alpha Kendrosaurus. Well, Gazmaniac hasn't had the return that they had hoped for so far. Three defeats. Yeah, not in good for him. And I'm in the face of the guy that has won three matches as well. It's big ass. But if there's ever a time to turn it around, it's now. Right, we are on the beach, which favours wind type. Actually, hardly seen this field, to be honest. Okay, there's a hit from Gazmaniac. It's a banana surprise. Boosh! Poisoned it as well. Right, that's once. Good start, that was a really good start from Gazmaniac. Ooh, but Tarbisaurus getting its first shot there. But look at the poison really chipping away at Tarbosaurus. But Tarbosaurus landing another shot, this time a crit. And it gets some awakening action. Ooh, that's a tie. But you don't mind that if you end steel. Oh, but you do mind it. It's a. Big Quake Saber from Gazmaniac. A chance missed for Ensteel. 
Now, Tarbosaurus will not survive. I was going to say, it might survive and get the death fire triggered, but irrelevant at this point. Right, coming in next for M Steel, we got Penticeratops. Full lightning move set. Not much to say. And but a bit been another contributing factor as to why M Steel's won three out of three. Three. Ooh, the Gasmania getting a crit on the board. Poison in it as well, that's the problem. And getting the Earth Barrier. And with all lightning moves, I think Kentrosaurus, unless he gets hit by a crit, will survive a hit from Pentaceratops now. Big problem for M Steel here. And you'd have to say, maybe for the first time in this tournament, this starting to stutter. As a banana surprise. And for Gazmaniac, well, this has been by far their best showing so far in this tournament. Look at that! More poison! M Steel needs to kill this Kendrosaurus. Okay, and he does. The Earth Barrier is not going to protect it. The type advantage is not going to protect it. But Gavin Spark will finish off Kendrosaurus, but. Well. It's done plenty of damage already. Look at that. Pentaceratops. On the brink of being knocked out. Right, coming next for Gasmania, we got Torvosaurus. Well, this Torvosaurus really done nap four in this tournament, doesn't it? Ooh, hello! Penticeratops getting another shot. M Steel working their way back into this contest. Okay, that tie will finish Penticeratops. Now, coming in third for M Steel, we've got Ampelosaurus. It will have type advantage over Torvosaurus when the Burning Dash gets triggered, so we need a tie. And that type advantage could definitely help M Steel come back into this contest. But don't forget, Gasmaniac has Titanosaurus in the wings in third, and it has Awaken Mode as well. Oh, but that's not good. It's a Burning Dash. Is M Steel going to taste defeat for the first time in this tournament? And is Gazmaniac finally going to get their first win in the tournament? Tie. Can M Steel pull this back? Oh, that's another one. Okay. That's probably not going to guarantee at least a losing bonus point for Gazmaniac, should they still lose this match. But. I have to say, it's been a really good showing from Gazmaniac, and M Steel has really stuttered in this match. I think for the first time all tournament, they have actually stuttered. Can Gazmaniac get the bonus point victory? Okay, that's another tie. And that'll do it! The ties finishing Ampelosaurus off. And it is a massive bonus point victory for Gazmaniac. And M Steel tasting defeat for the first time. Well, I probably didn't expect that outcome in all honesty. We'll have a look at what that's done to Group D. But first, we got one hell of a main event. So let's get on with that main event. Well, wow, this is going to be a crack. Ooh, a fitting place for these two. The Colosseum. Right, in the red corner, for Diddy Darius, we've got Starachosaurus. Diddy Darius finally getting off the mark in round three, with a crucial win against Epic Brad. What's interesting, if Diddy Darius wins here, then both of these two will be at two and two. But, in the blue corner, for Ultimate Dino King, we've got Inosaurus. Ultimate Dino King tasting defeat in round three against D-Team in the bounce back. Oh, this is going to be good. 
it is a repeat of the 2022 finale. And that was a very good match as well. Diddy Darius denying Ultimate Dino King consecutive successes. Whoosh. And given M Steel's defeat here, a win is crucial for either of these two. More so now. Defense boots coming in here. Ainiosaurus, all the powers in the crits. Dracosaurus, more balanced stats. That could be key here. Hits are going to be few and far between for these two, but look at that. The tie buff there, the Ainiosaurus, his charge type, has got the plasma anchor. That's also a factor. And speaking of plasma anchor, here it is. Exactly what Ainiosaurus wants. Reel in that Saracosaurus and chip away at its HP. Oh, and that's a big shot from the Ainiosaurus, and that'll be first blood to ultimate Dino King. Right, coming in next for Diddy Darius, we got Stegosaurus. Now, I love type advantage over the Ainiosaurus, so it's highly, it's rather unlikely that Ultimate will be extending that lead. But that that type advantage only applies when the Quake Saber is triggered, and that gets triggered after a tie, so you could see some Plasma Anchor H again. But a crit from the Steg will probably kill Ainiosaurus nonetheless. Oh, that's a Thunder Bazooka! That's gonna be costly! Jeez, that was costly. Diddy Darius can't afford to get hit by one of them again. Right, there's the tie. But Stegosaurus has taken a pummel in. Oh, he's gone down! This Ideosaurus is mopping up! And Ultimate Dino King is 2 0 up! And, well, well in command now. But coming in next for Diddy Darius, we've got Kakirodontosaurus. Kakira, don't count Diddy Darius out yet. This Kakirodontosaurus can pull pull it back for him. But those Thunder Bazookas have really caused Diddy some problems. Oh, oh wait. He's not going to win 3-0, is he? Can Diddy Darius come back? Oh, don't go paper. Well, the tie's not going to help. No plasma anger though, but he needs to get a hit. Okay, and he does. Recovery coming in as well. Okay, Ainiosaur is finally biting the dust, but... Satiosaurus comes in next with type advantage. So Ultimate still well on top. And the Kark has taken some beatings. Right, coming in next for the Dino King, we've got Sikiosaurus. Like I said, with type advantage, it's got the shockwave as well, if it gets that off. It's, it's still a long way back for Diddy Darius, but if they can get hits. You know, we've seen strange things happen in, this to in these tournaments. The Magma Blaster's gone, which will definitely help him. That won't. That's a tie. Okay, here's another hit. The Net Crusher. This Kark is at least doing doing some work here. As a tie, this Satyosaurus is willpower type, but I think that's irrelevant at this point because a hit from it is probably going to be game over. For a Diddy Darius, okay, is a crit. Look at this, Diddy Darius not going down without a fight. And taking out the Sateosaurus. Well, all of a sudden. Coming in third for Ultimate Dino King, we've got Myasaurus. 
think they might be kicking themselves here because they had Diddy Darius by the throat. But the, that grip has been loosened. And there was definitely an opportunity for the bonus point victory, and that's gone too. This Kakuodontosaurus has really pulled it back for Diddy. Refusing to go down. It's a tie. That triggers the two platoon crash. Oh, hello. That's another hit from the car. One hit. And Diddy Darius can secure the losing bonus point at least. But the momentum's with them. They might be eyeing up a victory. And what a victory it would be. Oh, it's a tie. Is it going to survive? It's not. Oh. Ultimate Dino King clings on in the end and gets the victory over Diddy Darius. But that was it. That momentum was with Diddy 100%. But let's just have a look. Oh, okay. Ultimate would have got the next hit anyway. So, okay. Maybe Ultimate was going to get the win. But Diddy Darius really put up a late fight there and got the losing bonus point. But those Thunder Bazookas from the Ineosaurus. Big, big moments. Right. Let's have a look at how Group D stands, shall we? Well, that really has shaken up Group D. So we have Ensteel and Ultimate Dino King level on 10 points. Nothing to separate them. And what's more intriguing is that these two play each other in round 5. So that could be a straight shot to who wins this group. Then we have D-Team in third on 9 points with those 3 bonus points. Morsla and Dino fans level. They have yet to play each other, so there's nothing to separate them. Epic Brad on six points after their win. And Diddy Darius dropping down into seventh on five points. But, you know, they're still well in it. As is Gaz Maniac after that huge victory over M Steel. So still, all to play for for everyone in this group is so tight. Six points between Gaz Maniac and these two. Right, that's going to end this session here. So I hope you enjoyed. And until next time. Ta-ta! Mm-hmm.